Hello everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room. These are the two free card kits for the month of February. Didn't they come out adorable? Here's the inside of that one and then the inside of that one. Now it's so easy to get free card kits. Just place an order with me, doesn't matter how much, become a downline, join my team, or subscribe to Paper Pumpkin. Those are the three ways that you get these two free card kits every month. I'll be back in a moment and we'll start to put one of them together. We're going to start with this adorable honeybee card. Now some of you will get the stripes and some will get the hexagon. Just depends on what paper I pull out and which one I run out of. Then I'll switch to the other one, okay? So let's talk about the dimensions of this card. And here's how your kit will come. You'll get a whisper white envelope. I've already stamped it because I'm going to stamp the inside of this and color it, but I've already stamped it on the front and the back. And with Stampin' Up, the rules are no stamped images, so your envelope will come blank. Everything will come blank. You can use whatever stamp set that you want. Of course, if you have this one, it works perfectly, right? Um, okay, so what we want to do now is, and this is what you'll get right here. You'll we'll get all these pieces. I'm going to cut out this... Um, this B for you. I'm going to cut this out for you. I'm going to emboss this here for you. You'll have a base of crushed curry at 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half. You'll have an inside piece of regular Whisper White, 4 and 3 quarter by 3 and a half. The outside will be embossed with the 3D Coastal Weave embossing folder. I love this embossing folder, um, 5 and a quarter by 4. Then you'll get a piece of crushed curry at 3 by 3 a piece of Whisper White at two and three quarters by two and three quarter, and then these two pieces right here to complete our pretty little card today. Okay, so I'm going to start to stamp, and I'm going to use this piece right here. I'm going to use my Hello and my Tuxedo Memento Black Ink. I'll reposition this on my block a little bit. All right. And we're just going to stamp hello right there. Now we're going to place our little beehive. And um, you can do this with snail or Tombow. I'm going to use a little snail on this. And you're going to place it in this lower right corner with a little bit of the white showing okay, on the bottom and the side. Just like that. Now, I want my silicone mat. I want to show you how to do this. I have my silicone mat right here, and I'm going to place my bee upside down on it. And I'm going to take my snail. I only need to get glue down here on the body, and maybe some on the feet. I want the wings to fly freely. Now, there's glue in between there. You can take a little tool even the um, take your pick tool and just kind of clear the glue from the inside there. It'll roll right back onto the back of it. Just kind of clear it right there. Look on your back side and you might just need to pick some up and just pu push it to the back but it does that quite nicely and easily. Now we're going to bring our element back in and we're going to stick the body right there and see so you want the wings to be free floating. Now this, we're going to turn it over. We don't need our silicone mat now. But we're going to turn that over and put some snail. And bring in our 3x3 three three piece of crushed curry. And now place this with a nice pretty border. And look at how wonderful just a piece of um, color cardstock can allow something to stand out. Just perfect. Isn't that nice? You know it was nothing when it was just white but you just put that little piece of color behind it and it really becomes something for us. Okay now, oh wait, we got to do the inside. <laughs> so let me bring that in and we're going to stamp our B in Tuxedo Memento Black Ink in each corner. Now again, if you don't have this stamp set, I designed these so that you don't have to worry about that. 
and then we're going to stamp it, thinking of you, sweet friend, in the middle. But if you do, this is a wonderful way to put this kit together, and I know that this is a very, very popular um, kit, so or bundle, I should say. So I did want to share it with you guys this month for February. I thought it was absolutely perfect. Maybe, hopefully, spring is around the corner, right? Okay, now what I'm going to do is um, I don't have a crushed curry uh, blend, so I'm going to use the Dark Daffodil Delight, which I think came out just fine. I'm going to use the little nib tip and color in my B. Just the stripes. And this is why I already did the envelope, because it's the same thing. Just stamp and color in the stripes. That's it. here there and there and he's sweet right good okay now with this I'm going to use my Tombow I'm going to attach this to the inside of the card we have so many wonderful sets in the occasions catalog um, this year that I really wanted to get into um, getting some of these into my free card kits so that you guys can enjoy them. You know, when I look at things to purchase, I purchase punch, I like to purchase punches because then with the card kits, you know, where I can't stamp for you, I can use um, punches and I can use embossing folders and you know, things like that. Now, talking about embossing folders, wow, don't we love this 3D Coastal Weave? I love this, and I know it's the, that they call it Coastal Weave, and they have it with the Timeless Tropics, but I think this is good for any time. I love the imprint of this embossing folder. Like I say, when things are embossed, you want to use a liquid glue to get inside all of the little nooks and crannies, so your project will be great, and it'll stay. You know, it might go down with snail at first, but I promise you it will pick up. So I'm just going to press that down there. And sometimes I don't like pressing too hard on where I've embossed, so I just turn it over. I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but <laughs> that's what I do. Okay, so there we go there. Now here we want to place dimensionals. And we'll just... Put a few around here, one in the middle, and there, that's plenty. And we're almost done with this first card, so pretty. I hope you have fun putting it together. There is a Shop Now button right down here for you, so that you can shop my online store and be able to receive this free kit. Just like that. Isn't that wonderful how all those layers just picked up on that card? And we made something out of nothing. Just beautiful. So here's the first card. I love that. I love to make, um, I love to start with a, a blank palette and then all of a sudden look what we have created. I just love this. Right there. There's our cards. So you'll receive either one, the stripes or the hexagon. Okay, and I'll cut it out for you. I'll be back in a minute. We'll put the second one together. On this card, I combined the Thoughtful Blooms. I used the punch, and I used this little flower right here on the envelope. And um, the sayings in the Timeless Tropics, because I love the hello, and I love this. Our friendship is timeless. I think that's beautiful. So our base is um, um, eh, yeah, Calypso Coral. Woo! And uh, <laughs> it's 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half. The inside piece is regular Whisper White, 4 and 3 quarter by 3 and a half. And then the outside piece will be embossed with this little eyelet right here for you. It is Whisper White at 5 and a quarter by 4. Our little um, squares, these are cut from the layering squares, and then this is cut from the stitched. Um, framelits and they will go on top of each other. The punch is with the flower that is um, part of the thoughtful blossoms. 
let me get that. Right here, this punch. And this is a celebration item. These are celebration items. So you can get these for free. The stamp set is with a $50 order and the punch is with a $100 order. Um, so this is just wonderful. And again, I love for you guys, I love to make these kind of cards so that you guys can enjoy these sets. So, so let's move this to the side and bring your kit in. Here's what you'll get. Like I said, Calypso Coral right there. 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half. You'll get um, the inside piece, regular Whisper White, 4 and 3 quarter by 3 and a half. I know I already went over this, but I'm just doing it again. And then this is the, um, it, this will be embossed for you, and it's 5 and a quarter by 4. And then you'll get three of each of these to put these little layers together. You'll get three sets of squares, and then um, you'll get three flowers and you'll get three rhinestones okay so let's go ahead and put this together how much fun is this card and of course the whisper white envelope let's go ahead and stamp that envelope real quick while we're doing it and i guess we can stamp the inside of our card also we might as well right so we want to get this little flower right here i love the lines on it in um crushed curry i'm going to stamp it out here and then on the back of the envelope, and that's completed. And now on the inside, in each corner, just like that. And now we'll do our Calypso Coral stamping right here. Our friendship is timeless. I just love that saying. I want to straighten this up really nice. Make sure we're as straight as we can be. Right? So use your grid paper. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going to take one of these little squares now and I'm going to stamp my absolutely adorable hello. Just in the center. I love the loopiness of it. If that makes, is loopiness a word? I don't know. <laughs> okay, now we're done with our ink. Let's go ahead and start to put this together. How much fun is that? Um, a little Tombow here. Card base. And this is the inside. So pretty. That Calypso Coral is gorgeous. Just a nice friendly color, isn't it? So again, I like to turn mine upside down for what reason, I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> I guess because I'm just mashing on a um, flat surface then. I feel better than pushing it down on something that has ink on it or is um, embossed like this. So again, just some Tombow. Because of the nooks and crannies with the embossing, you definitely want a good liquid adhesive. I don't have enough in my corners here to get my corners down. That's what I've noticed about using the Tombow. I really have to concentrate on getting the glue to the outside edge without it squishing out. But then I have that nice little wiggle room so that I can move my base around. I love that. See, I just don't feel good about pushing on that, but I'm pushing on it if I'm doing this. I don't know. <laughs> it's probably all up in my head, right? Okay, that's perfect. Now, let's move this aside and let's bring in our little elements here and start to put these guys together. And our hello goes right there. This we're going to use snail. Just put our hello in the middle. Right there. And one flower gets a little bit of Tombow on two of the petals. Like right there. You know, just a little bit. Because it's just going to stick right there. 
cute. Now, none of these flowers did I pop up or anything. They're all flat. I like them that way for this card for some reason. I don't know. I put the center there, the, just your little kind of making almost like a postage stamp out of this. And in the center here. Right? And you guys are screaming, you should use the Tombow. There we go. All right now on this, on the other, on the one side of the flower, you can kind of tell the way it's punched. I don't know, boy, that's a nice punch. You really about can't tell which is which. You know how it, sometimes it goes through a punch and gets a little lip on it. So I'm just going to put a little tombow on there, and I want it on here flat. And again with this one. I mean, you can, you know, you could put as much glue as you want, but it doesn't take much to stick it down. And then here on this one, just right in the center. And now we're going to jazz this up just a little bit with some rhinestones. Always just a little bit of bling, right? Just for the middle of the flower, you will receive three rhinestones from me. So you can do this. You can put this entire card together, except for the stamping, you know, except for the inking. And now we're going to turn this over. I'm going to get some dimensionals here. And just put like three on each is good. Like this. Doesn't matter how they go. Just enough to pop them up. Okay, we are ready to go here, guys. Let's see, let's uh, bring our card base in. Put this one in the top. And you want to leave a little bit of the embossing all around this little scallop. See, I picked this because these are bubbly and these are bubbly. And I thought it kind of was happy. So I, want, I definitely want my white to show. I'm going to put this one down here. But that's how I got I kinda picked this. Right here. And then this one over here. And we've got it. So you will get all these elements to make this beautiful card. I'm splitting the difference, leaving white space between. Just like that. Oh, I love it. I love the cards this month that I came up with. Not that I don't like them every month, but sometimes I like some more than others. And I think that I just absolutely love these for this month. So here they are. That's one. There's that one, that set. And here's my bees right here. And this set. Thanks for watching. Please go to my website. You could click the big blue button and order any and all of your Stampin' Up! supplies. Or you can click right down here, the Shop Now button, and you can order any and all of the Stampin' Up! supplies that you want. Remember, the Occasions catalog is in full force right now, along with the Celebration catalog, where you can get so many items for free. Don't forget that this is a fantastic time to order from Stampin' Up! It's also a fantastic time to join my team. There's a little button up there at more toward the beginning of the video that said join my team. It's a fantastic time to join and save your 20%. So thanks again for watching. If you order from me or a Paper Pumpkin subscriber or a downline of mine, these are your free card kits for this month of February. Thanks again for watching guys. Happy crafting!